What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to JD Plays Dungeons, Dragons, and Space Shuttles. Last time we took a trip to the Nether, had all kinds of fun, got a bunch of stuff knocked out with the resources we brought back from there, completed all kinds of fun quests. You know, it's been it's been good. I uh, got more stuff to do. Got a got a whole list of things here. Want to look at the engineer's hammer, the blast furnace, the alloy kiln, some iron bars, iron shovel, iron hoe, iron boots, squeezer, and iron excavator. I kind of stuck that squeezer in between all the other iron stuff. Anyways, hopefully you guys are enjoying the series so far. If you find yourself enjoying the video today, hit that like button. If you'd like to see more like it, hit the subscribe button. Let me comment. Let me know what's going on. And remember, I do live stream all of this content on Twitch TV slash JD on 77. Let's get started, shall we? All right. So I pushed the button. I didn't mean to. We've got a lot of stuff to do on here. It's supposed to be cringy eyebrows rack. We need to get in it. Okay, let's let's. Just go straight to the quest manual for this. So we've been working extensively in here, right? And through our adventure to the nether, we found that we needed some blaze rods, which we got. And it's like, hey, okay, you also need nether brick. So I cooked up a bunch of nether brick using all of the nether rack we got, which completed this quest. So 36 nether brick is now at our disposal. We get a reward of some blaze powder, some quartz plates, or a, some nether brick fence. The next thing is go make an engineer's hammer. Okay, so to make an engineer's hammer, you're going to need some string, some sticks, and some iron. Or you can just go find an engineer's hammer, which I've found three of them so far. We'll pop that out. Okay, that gives us a copper coin. Love me some copper coins, right? Just throw that in there right quick. Way. Okay. Actually, let's not equip that right now. All right, so engineer's hammer, done. Yay. Okay. So with the engineer's hammer in hand, it's like, hey, how about getting some galena dust? If you can get 12 of this, great obium, a very heat resistance metal. Later, it can also be split into lead and silver through a blast furnace. All right, so how do we get galena dust? Well, we take galena ore and we smash it with mortar and pestle. So it so happens I've got galena ore here. Okay, so happens that we've got some mortar and pestles here. Oh, ash. Yay, Galena done. That'll give us more coins, more Galena dust. Great. Now we can go on to Vanadium. It wants us to get six dust. Well, I had that six dust. And then, you know, smart guy me cooked it all. So I had to go get some more. But that's okay. So what we're going to do is instead of uh, the way they're telling us to do it, which I think would be... Yep, mortar and pestle it. We're gonna use our Captain Awesome pick. At, uh, is it in bags, maybe? Yeah. Smashing, right? This is my smashing pick. And this thing right here will smash it into dust for us, so we don't have to use the uh, handy dandy mortar and pestle up. We can just use this guy. Yay. Back. All right, so that's like, yo, we'll give you some vanadium ingots for that. Thanks, dude. But cool thing is, is I already had some. Okay, here's some more of that nether brick. Talking about making, we'll go ahead and smelt the rest of this vanadium up. Actually, let's hold on to that. We may need it. Don't need that just yet. We'll wait here. Cook that instead. All right, so. Next on this path is making Ovium. Ovium is one of the three etherical ores. You can find it in natural diorite veins. This is a very heat resistant metal and can be used for progressive cooling mechanics. For reaching mining level cobalt, you have to combine galena and vanadium dust in a kiln or an induction smelter or an alloy smelter to get Ovium ingots. Aren't we glad I didn't just smelt all this up? Yes, we are, because now, take this, the kiln, with this and get ovium awesome all right we'll be doing that soon let's just set this stuff to the side for right now we'll put it in here i'll forget where it's at you guys will have to remind me so alloy kiln is what's next on the list right it wants me to come up here and we need to get press sand times eight compressed gravel times eight nether brick times eight brick times two sandstone times 16 and eight bronze plates okay let's see what we can do about gathering this stuff up so compressed sand times eight. Well, this will give me seven. 
We'll just steal Tomas. That was not enough. We're gonna need some gravel plus poquito mas. Yep. Done. Cool. Now we need gravel. Second burst, same as the first. There we go. Okay, let's put this away. Need some nether brick. How much do we need? Eight. Alright. So for nether brick, pretty sure it's gonna be a fun recipe. Like that, right? That's fiery nether bricks. Hmm. I wonder if those count. All right, we can chisel them apparently. We can chisel various nether bricks. Oh, we can use this other kind of chisel. I see. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. I wasn't thinking about that the other day when I was doing this. Earlier when I was doing this. That's fine. Okay. So fiery nether bricks. One more. Yeah, does that count? That counts. Okay. Then we need some bricks. Do we have some bricks? We have the bricks. Okay. And we need some sandstone. Do we have the sandstone? Have the sandstone. And then we need some bronze plates. Alright, do we have bronze plates? Um I think we have bronze plates. I think we're gonna have to make these. We've got some bronze ingots. I've got a block of bronze. And let's see where we can get with this business. Okay. Bronze plates. How many do we need again? Eight. Hearing a weird sound. Very scary. Like something is hunting me. Oh, it's just me walking. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Alright, we got bronze. Okay, cool. The alloy kiln is a multi block added by immersive engineering made of kiln bricks. First, you need to get some resources. We've got the resources. We get these things as our reward. We'll claim that reward in just a moment. That's going to push us over to actually assembling the kiln bricks. Which is going to look something like this in an advanced crafting grid. So, our advanced crafting grid. Alloy kiln. Or what? It's kiln bricks, right? Kiln brick. Right there. Yeah. Shift click. One, two. Done. Alright, so temporary setup. We're getting ready to dig down and go under the base, right? Because we're getting ready to start our uh, ability to store mass goods. The alloy kiln is very simple. It's just a two by two structure. Right click with the hammer. Boom, ready to go. Nice. 20 sand, two blocks of coal, and some gold coins for that. And that finishes out this path. Very nice. So we will come over here. We will pick up our, I remembered where it was. Aren't you proud of me? Galena and our vanadium. Let's grab some of this lovely charcoal that we got from using our charcoal pads the other day here put these in together that'll start cooking up and we'll have some alloys being made soon i don't know why my thing is going into cave mode i'll let it all right bees are breeding bees i love you guys stuff it's great those dudes working all right so alloy kiln check all right next is the blast furnace and for the blast furnace we need blast brick and for blast brick well we need a whole bunch of stuff so we need bricks we need nether bricks we need all kinds of stuff i don't know if we even have enough for all of this to be honest we're, we're going to try it right so let's come in here and type in blast this guy right here i'm just gonna hit a so that it saves it over here and two let's see there's two four six eight of these all right those go whoops there there, there, there. Okay. How many of these do we get? We get four for each craft. And then we need some of this glassy sand and some soul dust. Well, to get soul dust, we need soul stone. To get soul stone, we need cobbled soul stone. And we have to go into the nether to get that. I haven't gotten it yet. But we'll have to take another adventure to go pick that up. But in the meantime, we can go ahead and take some of this clay. Get this cooking up, right? Cook it in here. Put these guys with it. Bam. All right. That'll get our clay bricks cooking up. Uh, the other things we'll need are sandy glass. 
All right, so got some sand. We'll throw this guy in here. Okay, so I've got the glass and the sand cooking up. Now, all you really need to do to make sandy glass is just take sand and mix it with glass to get sandy glass like so. Uh, we're gonna have to be able to craft this recipe. We're getting four blocks seven times. So we're gonna need 28 of these. I've got 14 right now, so I've got half of what I need. Same thing, we're gonna want to have seven on each of these. Okay, perfect. So now we need seven blaze powders. I think we've got seven blaze powders, I hope. Yeah, right here. All right, we'll stick these in here. And the bricks are cooking. And so is the glass. But I think that's actually enough glass right there. So let's just stop that. Let's get this clay out of here and split it between these two. I think that'll be a better way to do this. Okay, we'll put this in here and we'll make 14 more. Split those evenly, there and there. Okay, and so now all we're really waiting on is bricks, right? Go ahead and just take these. We're gonna need quite a bit of brick because we're gonna need seven, 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 right? Let's we'll take a bit of brick. Uh, am I, is that gonna be enough actually? Seven, 14, 21. So yeah, like 56 brick. So really all we need now is to find the soul stone, right? We need to go back into the nether to get that. We're gonna do that, but first I wanna go ahead and knock out some of this other stuff. So the iron bars, right? Uh, iron bars are a part of this quest line back in blacksmithing, I think. Yes, right here. We actually found, I was getting ready to do this quest and I found some iron bars. So I have stashed them right here, found 11. So we've already completed that one. But if you do need to make them, you just need to go into your blacksmith's workshop, make iron rods, it takes seven iron rods to make five iron bars, one iron ingot per iron rod, okay? Super easy. We can get some more iron bars off of this if we need them. We'll look at that in a bit. Next, this opens up sprinklers. Sprinklers are a bit more advanced to craft. We'll look at doing that soon. That's from cyclic sprinklers, place over water, and near crops. The sprinkler runs only when water is directly below. It will water nearby crops and increase their growing speed. In fact, multiple sprinklers in the same area to increase uh, growing speed even more. Costs a bit more than an open block sprinkler. Over here you have the open block sprinkler. This sprinkler is used to speed up crop growing process and hydrate soil. Bone meal can be put in the sprinkler for an even faster growth rate or rate of growth. It uses water to spray four blocks in each direction. Water is required to use the machine which can be input directly from a liquid storage device or a liquid transport device. Water must be input through the bottom face of the block to make this guy like this, okay? So those are two sprinklers. We're not doing those yet, but that's kind of where we're heading with these. Okay, so let's check off iron bar. So iron shovel and iron hoe. Okay, iron shovel and iron hoe. These are, I don't really want to make these, and it's kind of frustrating because I actually have an iron shovel right here, but it won't give me credit. That's fine. We'll deal with it. Uh, we've got things set up right here to make an iron hoe, and the iron shovel isn't much different. I'm using bones instead of sticks at the moment. So there's the iron hoe, very straightforward. We'll grab some sticks for the iron shovel. I think it's like this, and then like this. But I could be wrong, hang on. Apparently I am wrong, let's go look. The iron shovel. It is three and three. What, 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 three? Show. I think it's like this? No, it's not. Show. 
What am I, what am I doing wrong? Why, why no, why no work? Steel burner, and nips. This, this, it's there. It, it doesn't want to let me make it. What's up, Naz? I don't know why it's not letting me make it though. Do I not have enough? Wait, maybe I don't have enough durability on the. Yeah, you need twelve. Book. What are you up to tonight, Naz? So we need planks and ingots. Okay. This? Why are you no clearing? Nice dude, how's your weekend going? I'm actually gonna be getting on here in just a little bit. I was on the other night, but er uh, not last night, but the night before last. Nobody was on, so I got really bored really fast. Bam, alright, there we go. That gets us our iron shovel. Huzzah. So all these tools have been knocked out. All that's left is the boots. Which are a super freaking annoying recipe, but I'm not happy about it all. So two, four, ten plates to make a pair of boots. Kind of dumb, if you ask me, but nobody's asking me, so. Did you finish uh, X, your expert mode, Naz? Two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, and there's our boots. Nice. So that finishes all this area of questing. I also want to go ahead and get the squeezer done. So that's on my checklist of things to do. Because you're building muscle mass, bro. We got all these done. Let's build the squeezer. Squeezer simple. Smooth stone. Couple of plates. And I'm mostly building this just for completion. We don't really necessarily need it. We'll just set it there. But we can squeeze things in that. Using gas, laugh out loud. It does get us a free piston though, and I will take a piston. We'll pull that out in the future. Okay, so the only thing left on this page that I'm concerned with doing right this minute is this excavator. And I want this so that we can use it to do some digging. Excavator is six more iron plates and three sticks. Go ahead and get some iron ingots. Am. Nice, Naz. Okay, so I believe it was like this. This, and that gives us the iron excavator. And what this is, is basically, you know, your Tinker's Construct version of a 3x3 three three digging area. And that gets that done for us, and leads us on to steel tool, steel burner, which... It's just a matter of getting the steel. We're not too steel yet. That's why we want to build the uh, lovely. Call it. Blast furnace that we want to build. All right. So let's see where we're at on time right quick. Let's take a look. Uh, we started about 18 minutes ago. I think we have enough time to go out and get some soul stone and finish up the blast furnace. If, if we do, if we pull that off, we'll have gotten quite a bit done, and I'll be very happy with us. Let's see if we can do that. Stick this other stuff back in here. I'm not using it right now. Terracotta there. The glass goes in here. Stadium goes in here. Bronze ingot. I don't remember what I needed bronze for, but there it is. There's some more bricks, and there's some more bricks. Let's see if we've got all the bricks and stuff. So we need to go bam, 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 bam. Cut those in half, cut those in half. Those in half. And there we go. It actually worked out quite nicely. We just need to go get the soul stone. We should be good to go at that point, right? But before we rush out and do that, let's, let's just make sure of what we're doing. Soul dust, which comes from mystical agriculture, get this by burning up soul stone we get soul stone by either crafting with soul sand or 
going and trying to harvest it from the nether. Now, I do have soul sand, and I can make demon ingots, and I can get Tiberium, and we could try to craft this, this stuff. We get six. Problem is, is, that's a lot of wasted resources, if you ask me. Something that you technically could go out and mine, right? So, maybe you can't, I don't know. Let's, let's, let's go take a look. I think, I mean, I've always found it before, but that doesn't mean that you're able to find it in this pack. Uh, right, okay. Let's, let's go see if we can find it. If we can't, we'll finish the Blast Furnace in the next episode and have everything I need before I take off. But I think, um, I'm hoping we can get lucky here. We're going to be using that sword primarily. It's fine. All right, my my graves are ready to go. Got our yep. All right, let's do it. Yeah, I'll be getting on uh, Final Fantasy probably after I do this YouTube recording. Hopefully, finishing the storyline tonight, knocking out that open raid, and beginning to work on all the stuff I need to work on. All right, big boy down. All right, we're looking for soul stone. Let's see if we see any anywhere. Maybe that over there. So let's go. Let's, let's go give it a look. See. What's up, spitter bro? Who is shooting at me? Oh, it's that damn. Octopus thing down there. Well, I made this iron shovel, so I'm going to use it. Shit. Where did I just connect to? Oh, a spider web just saved my freaking life, dude. I don't know what spider webbed me, but whatever it was, thank you so much. Wait, 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 wait. No, no, you need to calm down, bro. You need to calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Put me under there. Put me under there. Safety. Safety. Woo! We almost died. They were coming for our souls. They started punching me in the face and just laughed about it. And I was like, no, stop. That's a bright red magma slime. Not sure what I, how I feel about this. Stop putting lava on me. No, no lava. I don't want to die. I'm going to die. All right, that's cool. I died in a safe spot. I died in a box. How much weight have you lost, Naz? Are you looking trim and sexy? Thirty pounds. What were you at when you started? Gotcha. What the fuck? So I teleport to my grave, which is supposed to allow you a certain amount of time of invulnerability, and I'm insta-killed? And now I have to wait for a five minute cooldown before I can do it again.
Right on, Naz, I got you. Well, I should finish my storyline completely tonight in Final Fantasy, and I should get the first public raid done. And then I guess I need to start farming all the um, 430 or 450 gear or whatever. You'll reach a point where you're going to start building muscle for a little bit, and then you'll start dropping weight again. Oh, these fuckers. Set up Eeyore. Oh, there's more of them. Three minutes till we can teleport again, guys. Might be a long corpse retrieval, though. We'll see. If it is, no big deal. I'll find a way to get it back offline. Get everything ready and come back and finish the blast furnace. But we're going to try to do it all together like in. Yeah, that's the one thing about it also that you got to keep in mind is that to keep seeing that same level of change, you're going to have to start stepping up your activity and you're going to have to really start paying attention to your macro counts. How much how much water are you drinking every day? So j close to a gallon. Try to push yourself to drink around a gallon to a gallon and a half a day, and it will help a lot. A big part of the first bit of weight you lose when you start doing all that is going to be water weight, where your body was retaining water to keep itself hydrated all the time, and it stores it in your fat. It takes a while for it to get used to just having all that water, and you'll go through a phase of water shedding, um, and that drops some instant weight. And then you start building the muscle, and then what you have to do is your muscle is going to start consuming that fat the harder you push yourself. But it's got to, you know, that's when it starts taking a bit more than just diet alone. 59 seconds, so we can teleport again, guys. Try this one more time. See if we're going to get screwed out of getting our body back. Long story short, you've done great. There's still a bit you can tweak, you know, dietarily and stay on your diet, you know, or keep your diet the same as it is. Um, it, it'll work, but really now it's going to start, what's really going to start impacting you is how active you actually are and what you're doing during those activities. One of the best things you can do is swimming. There's a red dragon. There it goes. We, we can do it. Let's go home. All right. Let's go ahead and make sure that we reset our bed here real quick. That doesn't happen again. Let's cross our fingers. This is BS, dude. They're, they're sitting right on top of my grave. What can we do about this? I got an idea. 
All right, I got one more attempt at this before I call it. Not fun. We're gonna grab this, and I should have. Oh, my consumables are on my other body. Boop. Okay, I got an idea. I think it was. Was it Grokiba? I think it's Grokiba. It gives me absorption. We're going deep. We're going all out for this. Sweeping edge. Don't I have one that has knockback? Get them away from me. All right, last attempt. Here we go. All right, Grocky Ba didn't do anything. That was the wrong one. Damn it. I got some potions somewhere. I don't remember what I did with them. Grego suggests try hopping through the portal first to see if they will despawn. All right, we can try that. Why not? Go through the portal first. See if those guys will despawn for us. Actually, don't we have... Yeah, I'm not going to use that. Uh, There was one other thing I was looking for, though. I thought I had a... I guess I put that on my body, too. That's fine. We're going to go through the portal, pop the golden apple, teleport over, and hope for the best. I was trying to get some additional absorption hearts, but it didn't work the way I wanted it to. Okay. Rub down on the apple. Let's go! Get off me. It's the fire that sucks. Get off me. There's too much shit. It's everywhere. There there are two there, look at all this shit that's everywhere. Look at this. Oh, there's a boss. Mother oh, trucker. Yeah, we're not getting that body back right now. <laughs> All right, YouTube. It is what it is. I'll have to retrieve that through much more stealthy. Uh, but hopefully you enjoyed the episode. We got a lot done. We'll have the uh, Blast Furnace up and running next time. So as always, if you liked it, like it. If you'd like to see more, like it. Click the subscribe button. Click the bell icon if you want notifications for when I upload my next content piece, video, whatever. And remember that I do live stream all of this, Twitch TV slash JD on 77. Catch you next time. Laters.